and welcome to Title Tuesdays. I'm Mark Schomburg with Mark's Minutes. Today we're going to talk about investor files, double closings, and particularly your contract. Now, for all of you seasoned flippers out there, wholesales, um, anyone that deals with the investor market, we appreciate your business and you know how it is. Inventory these days is the biggest deal. There's plenty of money, there's plenty of buyers, but you're always trying to find the right deal. Start yourself up for success by doing the following. If you are going to be doing a double closing with an AB contract and a BC contract, start yourself off by making sure everything matches. For instance, the AB contract, you're closing in a land trust, one, two, three, um, Main Street land trust dated, blah, blah, blah. On the end contract, make sure it is exactly how it is on the AB contract. So for instance, if Bill Smith is the trustee of the 123 Main Street Land Trust dated April 6, 2015, then you're going to make sure that that's duplicated on the BC contract. If you spell out street, you're going to spell out street. Don't take anything for granted. ST is different than street when it comes to your REO properties that you might buy and flip, other short sell properties that you might buy and flip any auction properties that you might buy and flip. If the deed on the AB side is not exactly how the deed on the outgoing BC side is, you're gonna have a problem. So set yourself up to start for success. What's another thing you can do to save time, work more efficiently, and get to the closing table on time? Language in the contract. If you have a BC contract, make sure you have simultaneous language in your contract. We have seen other investors do this and we recommend that you look at to your peers in the community and that you do it as well. Simultaneous language in the contract is a highlight of saying that you are closing simultaneously the two transactions that the AB buyer and the BC um, contract rather are closing simultaneous. What does that mean? On your BC title commitment, you're gonna have a two deed requirement. You're gonna have Mr. Smith to Mr. Jones and then you're gonna have Mr. Jones to Mr. Williams. That's what simultaneous language means, and it could be a lifesaver for you in the investment community. What's another thing that you can have on your contracts to make it nice and clean? You're buying a contract from the A seller, and you have clearly on the contract, seller will take care of all permits and code matters prior to closing, seller will pay for all costs, let's just say you work out a deal and have that, now you go to your BC closing. Make sure you flip the information around. Make sure you put in your contract that seller, which is now you when you're flipping, will pick the title company, but buyer responsible for all typical charges per contract so that you make your money on one side and you make your money on the other side. You might say, oh, Mark, that doesn't always happen. Oh, Mark, that's not very easy to happen because they're sophisticated. They know the ropes. I'm telling you, more than not, when presented properly, you could achieve this too. Of all the deals we have on a monthly basis, we have some investors that just the art of the negotiation very simply creates the contract, puts it in there clearly, has everyone sign, creates the second contract, puts it in clearly, everyone signs, and everybody is alerted ahead of time, there are no problems, and you get to save the money and make more revenue for your um, business. Again. Any kind of conversation or video that you may would like that you would like to see about investment files or about anything else regarding title work in the real estate industry, don't forget to subscribe below and we'll see you at the closing table.